In the mid-1500s, as Portuguese trading activities increased in Africa, many African kingdoms experienced the negative effect of the Atlantic slave trade. The Congo Kingdom, located in West Central Africa, was one of the largest suppliers of enslaved Africans to the New World. In total, slave traders carried well over 5 million Africans from Central African ports. Zingambemba, the king of the Congo at the time, wrote 24 official letters to his fellow monarchs, King Manuel I and João III of Portugal, to express his concern over the damaging effect of the slave trade. In 1526, Zingambemba wrote a series of letters condemning the violent behavior of the Portuguese in his country and the establishment of the transatlantic slave trade. He accused them of assisting bandits in his own country and for illegally purchasing free people as slaves. He also threatened to close the trade altogether, decrying the rapid destabilization of his kingdom as the Portuguese slave traders intensified their efforts. In one of his letters, he writes, Each day the traders are kidnapping our people, children of this country, sons of the noble and vassal, even people of our own family. This corruption and wickedness are so widespread that our land is entirely depopulated. We need in this kingdom only priests and school teachers, and no merchandise, unless it's wine and flour for mass. It is our wish that this kingdom not be a place for trade or transport of slaves. Bemba was also concerned about the depopulation of his kingdom through the exportation of his own citizens. The king of Portugal responded to Bemba's concerns, writing that the kingdom probably maintained a high population and must not even notice the missing subjects. To lessen Bemba's concerns, the king suggested sending two men to a designated point in the city to monitor who is being traded and who could object to any sale involving a subject of Bemba's kingdom. By the 1530s, four to five thousand slaves were leaving Congo shores each year. Bemba wasn't the only African ruler who took a stand. For instance, in the early 17th century, Zingambandi, Queen of Dongo, which is modern-day Angola, fought against the Portuguese as part of a century-long campaign of resistance waged by the kingdom against the slave trade. Anti-slavery motives can also be found in the activities of Christian leader Kimpa Vita in the Congo. Several major African states took measures to limit and suppress the slave trade, including the kingdom of Benin and Daomey. <laughs> 